हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू होप बिकॉज आर ऑल वेल वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे माई टॉपिक इज केमिकल पोलैरिटी दैट वॉट इट इज सो बिफोर मी टर माई टॉपिक आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड डोंट फर गेट टू आज माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज बिकॉज आई हैव अपलोडेड मच मई इन्फॉर्मेटिव कॉन्टेंट दैट विल हेल्प यू अलॉट इन योर डेली लाइफ ओके सो मूवी टर माई टॉपिक पोलर मालिकुल एंड द नॉन पोलर नॉन पोलर मालिकुल एंड द नॉन पोलर रिडायरेक्ट हेयर फॉर अदर यूज ऑफ द टर्म पोलर सी पोलर In chemistry, polarity is the separation of electric charge leading to a molecule or its chemical groups having an electric dipole moment with a negatively charged end and a positively charged end. Polar molecules must contain one polar bond due to the difference in the electronegativity between the bonded atoms. Uh, molecules containing polar bonds have non- no molecular polarity. Uh, if the bond dipoles uh, cancel each other, uh, each other. Out by symmetry, polar molecules interact with through dipole-dipole intermolecular forces and hydrogen bonds. Polarity underlies a number of physical properties, including uh, surface tension, uh, solubility, and the uh, melting and boiling points. Polarity of the bonds. No, uh, not all atoms attract electrons with the same force. The amount of pull an atom exerts on its electron is called electron negativity. Atoms with high electronegativity, such as fluorine, oxygen, and nitrogen, exert a greater pull on the electron that uh, uh, than atoms with a low electronegativity, such as the alkali metals and the alkaline earth metals. In a bond, this leads to the unequal sharing of electrons between the atoms, as the electrons uh, will be drawn closer to the atoms with the high electronegativity. Because the electron has a, a, a negative charge, the unusual, the unequal sharing of electrons within a bond leads to the formation of an electric dipole. A separation of a positive and a negative electric charge, because the amount of charge separated in such dipoles is usually smaller than a, a fundamental charge, they are called partial charges, denoted as delta plus and delta minus. Uh, these symbols were introduced by Sir Christopher Ingold and Dr. Edith Hilda and Ingold in 1926. The bond dipole moment is calculated by multiplying the amount of charge separated and the distance between the charges. These dipoles within the molecules can interact with dipoles in other molecules, creating dipole-dipole intermolecular forces. Classification bonds uh, can fall between one to of uh, two extremes: completely nonpolar and completely polar. A completely nonpolar bond occurs when the electron negativities are identical and therefore possess a difference of zero. A completely polar bond is more correctly called an ionic bond and occurs when the difference between electron negativities is large enough than the one atom. Uh, actually, it takes. Uh, uh, Actually, atoms uh, take an electron from the other. The term polar and the non-polar are usually applied to covalent bonds. That is, uh, the bond where the polarity is not complete. To determine the polarity of the uh, covalent bond using the numerical means, uh, the difference between the electronegativity of atom is used. The bond polarity is typically divided into three groups. There are that are loosely based on the difference in the electronegativity. Between the two bonded according to the polling scale, non-polar bonds generally occur when the difference in the electron negativity between the two atoms is less than five zero point five. Polar bonds generally occur when the difference is in the electron negativity between the atoms is roughly between zero point five and two. Uh, ionic bonds generally occur when the distance difference between uh, in the electron negativity between the atoms uh, two atoms is greater than two point zero. Uh, he estimated the difference of 1.7 correspond to 50 percent ionic character, so that a greater difference correspond to a bond which is predominantly uh, ionic. As a quantum mechanical description, Pauling uh, proposed that the wave function for a polar molecule A B is a linear combination of wave functions for covalent and the ionic molecules. Uh, the amount of covalent and the ionic character depends. On the values of a squared coefficient a squared and b squared. Okay, so I think this is enough for today's topic. So please subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to watch my previous videos because I have uploaded much more informative content that will help you a lot in your daily life. Okay, 
so time to go goodbye meet you in the next video press the subscribe button and hit the like button if you like the video so goodbye